There has been a lot of talk over the past few weeks about an impending protest. So this week, a planned protest nationwide uh, against bad governance uh, called hashtag end bad governance protest. Planned protest and efforts to ensure due process. An issue of protest. The protest is long overdue. Something like never before. And the government is rattled. For the past few days and weeks, the government has been making frantic efforts. And at times, these efforts are actually very laughable. We're unaware of the threats as regards to protests, as regards to what some people may call and bad governance. A no to protest was seen yesterday by a group of women who stormed Abuja to protest against those planning a nationwide protest over economic hardship. Now, this group of women from different states in Nigeria came to Abuja carrying banners with the inscription, say no to protest. Why is it that government after government still make the same mistake that has brought nations down? They get to power and fail to listen to the people who gave them power. And when the people want to cry, when the people want to protest, when the people want to express their grievances, leaders, they stick to that old book of manipulation, of intimidation, and of violence. But the truth is, we have seen over the ages that leaders often underestimate the power of the people when they get up there. But the people decide where power resides. The government may think they know the people so well, but the truth is that the people know the government more than they think. And what our leaders do not know, whether you are a religious leader or a political leader, this is the truth. The people have more people with them than the leaders have people with them. It is only when there is trouble that the leaders eventually realize that the people actually have more people with them than they themselves. And this reminds me of the quote from George Santayana, the American philosopher, that those who do not learn from history are condemned to repeat its mistake. My heart is heavy because the effort of the government for the past few days just seems like scratching the surface. If there is a protest to end bad governance, I think common sense demands that what should be addressed is ending the bad governance. So there is no need for protest. Any other thing is just joking with the reality. For every right thinking Nigeria, this is not where we ought to be. So I seriously think that for the next few days, few weeks, what the people need like never before is to apply wisdom and great courage. I think what our leaders need like never before is a sense of humility, the willingness to listen and the courage to do what is right. Anything outside of this will not profit anyone. I hope you out there will do the right thing. I hope you will continue to speak against evil, stand for what is right, not to destroy life, not to destroy property, but to ensure your voice is heard. I hope you as our leader be humble to listen so that we can avoid all this and truly evolve into that nation that the soul of Nigeria cries for every day.